If war coverage is impacting how you feel, you're not alone. As Tracy Lair reports, local mental health professionals say many people are experiencing anxiety. If the Israel-Hamas war or the ongoing war in Ukraine or both are making you feel uneasy, you're not alone. I think we're all experiencing the anxiety. The war that's going on, we see about it, we hear it daily. People spending time with family and friends say they can relate. I try to intentionally stay uninformed on things that I don't have control over. I definitely do feel stressed. It puts a lot of like pressure just knowing on that the world's not at a good place right now. But I Suzanne Grimacy of Santa Barbara County's Behavioral Health Department suggests going on a media diet. Um, the images that we see on the media create almost a tattoo on our brains and they become very intrusive and we can't stop thinking about them. So I think I'd say three things that we can do. One is to put ourselves, our whole family, on a media diet, meaning pick out one or two reliable sources you trust and check on them once a day, maybe twice a day most. And if you're a family that likes to have the news on in the evening, put it on 30 minutes and turn it off. She also recommends taking a pause. Is to stop and pause and take note of how you're feeling. So feelings like feeling anxious and stress can impact us quite, quite a bit. They distract us, they make us irritable, we can't concentrate. So being aware of how we're feeling helps us to do a little more about that. And remember to take care. So get outside walk, move our bodies, um, stay hydrated, take breaks, you know, do the things that practice self-care. Mental health experts say it's also important to note that self-care isn't selfish. In Goleta, I'm News Channel reporter Tracy Lair.